As the launch on Wednesday at Bangsay's Thirst Park, organizers indicated this will be the fifth year for this zone hosting the championships. For the more was noted, they have received record entries, over 35 to be a bit more precise. Usually, the Georgetown zone kicks off the championships, but they decided to make a change to allow Georgetown, the most supported zone, to be the final before they head into the national playoffs. Brand manager Lee Baptiste gives expectations for the rest of the Amara zone and hope fans come out in the numbers, given that all but one of the playing days is not on Friday. We're having branded branded tops for the first time we will not be using bibs any, any longer and this will lend to the improved look and feel of the tournament we expect a pack night of football matches on the west side all matches will be most of the matches will be on fridays i think we have one match on wednesday um, and this would lend to the increased participation from communities to come and witness exciting football. I want to wish all the teams good luck and I want to impress on all the teams also to show discipline. I mean one of the main reasons for this tournament is really to showcase our communities and show what the guys within the communities can do um, and you know in order to gain the public support you need to show discipline. With the boost from loan sponsor Colors Boutique, their representative Kriana Damon noted they are hoping the tournament continues to reach its potential. I am proud to say that football is our sport and we will continue to sponsor this competition regardless of the circumstances. I must make mention that it's not just about the competition, but besides we promote Guinness in general by wearing our Guinness t-shirts proudly and with much anticipation. The opening night will have eight matches commencing from 18 hours. The other playing nights are January 25th, February 1st, 6th and 8th, and the finals are traded for February 16th. The winners will pocket $500,000, while second place will take home half of that amount. Third and fourth collect $200,000 and $100,000 respectively. Last year's show stoppers got their third straight title when they topped ESPN 3-0 in the final. For the newsroom, Akeem Green.